Okay, folks, uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to actually finish our design here. Now, uh, I have uh, provided you with this model, this back here. Uh, we can, uh, you know, it's going to be very, you know, time consuming if you want to really model this. You know, there's a lot of detail going on here. So uh, I am not going to do that in front of you. I just uh, provided you with the model. And uh, the next thing is you just uh, simply open it in a, it's a, a simple Cinema 40 file. You can open it and uh, you can see the hierarchy here. And now we're going to be just creating the textures for this guy and also creating the uh, stuff that are going to fill the bag, the cube, the sphere, the main logo, and hopefully we uh, are going to be able to finish it in this lesson. Okay, let's uh, really quickly start creating the material. That's going to be our new material. Let me go to this material view. And that's going to be the uh, bag or whatever you name it. Let's go add a layer shader. I layer shader, go there. Uh, in your texture folder, there's this image, open that up. And then what you can do is simply go there and add a simple color. And uh, before that, I'm going to go sort of darken this image by increasing the white point and turn up the specular. And I'm going to select this gray 80, 80, 80, and simply go there and reduce the amount of effect that this guy has, maybe something like 20. Turn on the reflection. I'm just going to use the same layer shader on reflection too. And a really small amount, maybe 10% and a lot of blurriness, maybe even 50% here. And for the bump, I'm going to use this texture, paper texture, and uh, the amount to something like maybe uh, 5, 10%, even 7% here. Now, this is going to be a good texture. Let's go ahead and apply it to the main back here. I'll go and make sure in my editor tab, I just increase the quality so we see what's going on here. Now, that's definitely not a bad texture, as you can see. But uh, we're not going to be seeing this part, but there are some stretching going on, you know, uh, because of the UV maps that we basically don't have a really good UV map on, on them. So I'm going to select this texture tag and change the projection to cubic. And um, I think just this is going to be enough for what we have in mind. It's really, uh, we're not going to be zooming to see the seams or anything like that, even though they are not going to be uh, visible, even if you zoom that much okay uh, that's for this and for this uh, rope stuff I'm just going to create a simple material and sorry so let's name them rope and for the color I'm gonna select this color 190157103 and uh, turn off the specular here I'm going to have reflection. I'm going to use Fresnel reflection. And there are some standards that might be useful if we can find them. And again, really small amount and a lot of um, blurriness. And the bump, we're going to be using a simple noise go inside the noise and choose one of these noise I think this is kinda more rope like and get back here and change these to something maybe like 5 or 6 and I think that's gonna be enough and let's apply this to these rope here okay should okay great now also this tube stuff I really wanna kinda add a more of a white color so let's go ahead and change their color to these white and that's the only thing that we need to change and if we really uh, we can decide whether these textures are great or not uh, until we uh, really render them and see how they uh, kinda work in the uh, final scene so I'm gonna select this 
uh, tubes here and apply the uh, material here. Now the final thing is this logo that we need to add to the bag and for this I'm just going to create a new material and uh, you have this texture in your um, folders so let's open that up and let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the color and for the alpha I'm gonna be using the same texture you know if you really like you can go ahead and create a uh, grayscale image from that but I think I'm just going to be using this as an alpha as you can see I have uh, uh, you know if you take a look at here it has this white colors that makes it transparent so I uh, went ahead and added a completely uh, white in it so uh, it uh, kind of appears completely in our image so let me double click on this and now we have these uh, logo here really simply and I can go ahead and apply it to my main back here I'm gonna change this projection to flat and let's go here and right click on this uh, fit to region well, let's go to something maybe like this come back here turn off the tile so it won't get tiled and I'm gonna select my enable my textures and move this thing a bit so it's sort of kind of more in the image and if you wanna you know make sure that the uh, uh, basically the aspect of the image is uh, right you can simply right click on this tag and save it to image and select this image and that will fix if there is any problem so I'm gonna just move it a bit and uh, as you can see even though we're not gonna see the back of this bag but just to make sure that it is perfect what you can do is to select this bag uh, select its polys and uh, just uh, select these polygons up here hold on shift and let's go ahead so it just appears on this side I just want to make sure that I have all the polys uh, sorry selected here there you go and you can simply uh, go to your select menu set selection and add this selection to your selection field here there you go now you just have it on this side now that's the first part let's go ahead and actually copy that to our main scene edit copy and there we go let's edit and paste and this guy here I wanna add it to the uh, under here and add it to this layer which is the scene layer and there we go now we have the bag here in our scene as you can see let's just uh, position it a bit better you can see you just have to select the bag and see how this is gonna work now <clears throat> let's go ahead and see if it's right I am just going to put it on the ground exactly okay in the placement I think somewhere like here is enough it's a bit too big for my liking really we can make it a bit smaller if we need to something like this is enough and uh, yeah, I think it's a good position we can possibly move it to this side a bit and see how that's gonna work finally but um, yeah I think generally speaking the position is good now I think it's enough for this lesson in uh, the next lesson we're gonna be creating the uh, main logo and the uh, spheres and the uh, other uh, shapes that kinda fill this bag uh, and uh, that's uh, gonna be great so in this lesson we prepared the bag and created a texture for it and bring it to in our scene and I'll see you in the next lesson